She should not keep pumping out so many bags. What was I saying? I can't remember. What is up you guys? Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a Chanel triple handbag reveal. Actually, let's make that a quadruple handbag reveal. So I mentioned in a few videos prior that I purchased 13 Chanel bags in 2021. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you four of them. And then in another video, I'll share with you the rest of them and then I'll do a recap. It's gonna be a quite an interesting video to share with you the bags that I purchased, why I purchased them, go through the specs, the colors, etc. But yeah, I don't know what happened. I think in 2021, because of the constant Chanel price increases, I was just focusing on Chanel and neglecting my luxury wish list. So I got sidetracked, but I think I did pretty good with the bags that I purchased. And at the price point that I purchased, because there's been so many price increases, the price point was okay. So I've got four Chanel boxes. I've unboxed them all. All of them came with original receipt, authenticity card, box ribbon, dust bag, booklet, everything like that so they all came with a full set which is great yeah so let's reveal the first one that i purchased and i'm going to share with you the nicknames as well all of these bags that i'm going to share with you today i have not used them yet because in 2021 we were in our i think fifth and sixth lockdown which was really long and I haven't really gone out anywhere. And when I have gone out quite recently, I've gravitated towards other bags I haven't used for quite some time, such as the dark beige small classic flap. My very first ever small classic flap. And I love the size. I I'm kicking myself like, why didn't I jump on more smalls? Let's jump into the very first one. And I'm just gonna reveal it to you. This one is such a cutie. This here is the Chanel top handle mini. It is in the beige caviar with the age gold hardware. Uh, this came out in a number of different colors in the caviar. I think this was the first release. So they had beige, they had white, black, gold, and silver. I was interested in the black, beige, or the white. I bought this bag based on a photo that I saw on Instagram with a gorgeous Dior Twilly, and it looks so nice with this. Brand spanking new. It's in this like really unique caviar leather. got the CC turn lock which is really cute. We've got the top handle there. This one is a 31 series so it's got the authenticity card there. This one's made in Italy. So the chain on this uh, on the top handle minis are like the Chanel Wok chain. It's thinner than like a normal classic rectangle mini chain. If you just want to carry it top handle you can so the chain won't be so heavy because the chain is thin you're able to tuck it in the bag with ease without taking up too much space inside the bag my nickname for this bag is <laughs> chanel chicken skin bag in some lighting it can look yellow so if you guys have had hainanese chicken rice like that yellow chicken it's like a steamed chicken this is <laughs> This is what it reminds me of. So the Hainanese chicken rice, I call it my chicken skin bag because the color is, it's, it's like a yellowy beige. And then I was kicking myself. I'm like, I, should I have gotten the white? Should I have gotten the black instead? But then I've got like a few caviar minis in caviar black already. So could I have gotten the black caviar of this top handle and then given it to my mom? If you compare this beige to the white, I feel like the gold hardware on the white pops a lot more than this. This one looks a little bit muted, but it is a really great, nice neutral. Maybe because it still has a sticker on it. It doesn't pop as much as I would love because I love gold hardware. I love like the classic true yellow gold hardware. Champagne gold hardware, I'm not the biggest fan of, but some bags it does work well with. I don't know, what are your thoughts on this beige? So when this bag came out in Australia, classic rectangle minis without the top handle, were 6,250 Australian dollars. And then when the top handle mini came out, it was $6,300. So it was only $50 more than normal rectangle mini, which I found quite odd. The handle, they only charge like $50. This type of caviar leather can look a little bit wrinkly. My one's really nice and smooth. Um, the alignment is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. It looks really cute. I had to wait nearly two months for shipping because we were in lockdown. DHL had just delayed a lot of their shipments. So I waited two months for this. I'd already paid a deposit and when I went to pick it up, like I paid the rest. So at the time I paid 6,950 Australian dollars. So I waited two months, but if I canceled my transaction, 
I would have probably paid $8,000 because I know the other resellers were selling for $8,000. Like these are now going for $10,500 on the resale market because, and they're getting snapped up like really quickly. At the time it was considered premium. The premium was about $700. Like, and as time and weeks went on, the price of these have gone up a lot. I think I'll keep this one in my collection because it is different. It's quite classy. I do like beige. I do like whites. I do love wearing neutrals, blacks camels so i will hold on to this and see how it works with my wardrobe i do like the top handle aspect of this top handle mini so i like that it's versatile and i like that you can just tuck the chain in so i've grabbed my rectangle mini so i can share with you the difference in the grain of caviar leather you can see the classic rectangle mini the chain is much more thicker and then i'll also bring out my wok that i spoke about in my previous video in my luxury wishlist video this is my vintage chanel wok the, the chain is the same on on these two so this is so cute i love this did i purchase this last year you know how you purchase too much stuff or like if you're like me when you're shopaholic and you purchase too much and you don't remember like what you, you purchased I don't know. Okay, now moving on to bag number two that I purchased in 2021. Now this one is such a cute one. I think this is from the 21K collection. Gorgeous lilac lambskin with champagne gold hardware. This one is also brand spanking new, store fresh. It still has the stickers on. The reason why I bought this bag and why I wanted this bag was I saw this on Tamara. And then what cemented me with this bag was I saw it on Maria Dragonova. This one really popped in her video and I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful lilac. I need it. And then Maria, boxed hers and I'm like oh my gosh I really really need I'm gonna search for it even though I don't really need this bag but why not when I film my videos this is in natural lighting so you don't have any ring lights or anything this is what the actual color looks like it can look a little bit dull so this is a little bit of a dull grayish toned lilac purple so this is a really cute little alternative to like you know a little party bag you know where I can hold the bag like so made in France the price I paid for this was literally, it was the same price. I paid the same price. So I paid 6,950 because at the time I didn't know the retail price of this. I paid a little bit of a premium on top, but these bags were going for about 7,250. I saw one who was selling at retail price, which was 6,690 for like cash pickup. So I could have waited a few more weeks and then bought that one. It took her a while to sell it. I've seen it on a lot of Instagram resellers page where it hasn't sold so well. I don't know why, I think it's just the color. Not many people like this type of lilac because it is a little bit of a dull lilac. So yeah, these are my two top handle minis. Let me know which one you think is more cuter. I didn't mean to buy two top handle minis, but um, oopsie. I think this bag needs a twilly to really make it pop. Otherwise it can look a bit plain, but this I can wear it on its own. So what do I call this bag? This one I call my lilac dream. So the third Chanel bag that I'm going to share with you today. Ta-da! So this one here is a Chanel rectangle mini flap. It is in this gorgeous pink tweed with champagne gold hardware as a chanel lover i think a tweed flap bag is a must or a tweed chanel bag is a must and i'm quite picky with my tweeds like chanel makes beautiful tweed but on their bags it's hard to find one that really clicks with you and i think this one is as close to perfect as it can get i do love pinks in small portions so this bag came out in two sizes there was a medium large and the mini out of the two the mini looked the cutest and the mini just sold out straight away. So I paid a premium for this one. I think the retail price of this was 5,460 Australian dollars and I paid 6,250. I call this one my strawberry coconut mini flap because it looks like desiccated coconut. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit too much, but give you a quick overview. Got the felt protector inside. This one is a, this one is a 31 series and it is made in France. I think this bag looks really great with the champagne gold hardware. You know, if you can find the right tweed that works for you, that makes your heart sing, then definitely go for it. I probably will scotch guard this, especially the back, because you know how like it can rub against whatever you're wearing, if you're wearing jeans or like dark colored clothes, especially new clothes you haven't washed before. The reason why I purchased this pink, which is like a cute pinky lilac, my strawberry coconut bag, was because of my Fendi micro peekaboo. This is such a cute little, I give zero Fs type of a size bag you know it's that cuteness 
and that's why I purchased this. I'm like, I need a Chanel bag in a similar tone to this because this is one of my favorite colors. I love lilac pinks. I've worn this quite a few times and it is so buttery and luxurious and I get so many compliments on it. It's so cute and it goes so well with like the classic yellow gold hardware. So I thought, because I love this so much and I've worn this quite a lot, why not go for a pink mini flap? So as soon as this one popped up, I, I, I snatched it up straight away. Which one do you prefer? Classic rectangle mini or top handle mini? The top handle comes in handy. All right, so the very last handbag that I purchased, and this is a bag that I'm just gonna share with you today because it's a bag that I thought I would love. <laughs> But when you're purchasing on the resale market, it's so hard to know if something will work for you. And this is a caviar mini that I thought, yeah, I love caviar minis. I love square minis. I love that this bag is a little bit different. I love the iridescence of this bag. I thought, you know, since I was branching out in color, etc., I thought, why not try this bag? It's cute. I'll make it work. And then when I received it, I'm like, yeah, it's not really me, is it? And I paid like a big premium on it. So the bag that I'm talking about is, I think it is a 21K My Perfect Mini. It is in the gorgeous iridescent caviar mint color. And it has the aged gold hardware. This one I purchased from the same seller that sold me this one and the 21A Dove Grey. This is cute. However, I was tossing up between the black, which looked like a navy, the pink or this. And I thought this one is a little bit different to my collection. I'm sure I love it. I love the detail of the chain. Iridescent caviar leather, aged gold hardware. We've got the back. It's cute because it is a little bit larger than a normal classic square. So you can fit a lot more in it. It's got these gorgeous details on the sides there. Both sides a little bit different. This brand spanking you came with the re original receipt, came with everything. It's made in Italy. And the reason why I love this bag is because of this chain detail, which got me sucked in. And also the larger CC which I think is really cute. The age gold hardware works really well with this iridescent mint caviar leather. And this is what sucked me in. <laughs> this chain detail, how cute is that? It's a Chanel Paris on both sides. And this is um, an adjustable chain. So you can wear this as a belt bag, you can wear this crossbody, you can wear this on the shoulder. It is adjustable. And I thought I can try to make this work because I, I like pastels. I think that this is a really nice, unique color. It was a more rarer color out of the other colors that they came out with. And I thought that I would like wear a lot, but I've never worn this. Um, it's just been sitting in its box and I'm like, yeah, it's not really me, is it? But it does look cute with my dress. One, two, and three. I think when this first came out, it was 6,250. I paid 8,590 Australian dollars, which is, I know, a huge premium. I just feel like this color isn't for me. Maybe it's not classic enough. This is like classic with a twist, but this one is different. This has a little bit of a different structure. So it's softer. This one is a lot more structured, especially on the base. Very cute. I'd love to know your thoughts on the My Perfect Mini. Which color would you have chosen? So this is the Lilac Top Handle Mini. This is the Beige Caviar Top Handle Mini. The Pink Rectangle Tweed Mini. This is the My Perfect Mini Mint Iridescent Caviar Mini. Very cute. And if you're feeling a bit uh, feisty, you could definitely wear all three bags out. The utilitarian look. Girl on a mission. And then since I'm here, might as well try on black caviar rectangle mini. The gold hardware in this really pops. Since we have this vintage wok. <laughs> Yeah, the wok chain on this is very long. It is like a really cute um, vintage wok. Got like the puffy CC. I love it. Because it is 24 karat gold plated, it is so shiny. It reflects the light really well. It just sparkles. Made in France. That stamp is gorgeous. And then this is a seven series in like really, really good condition. I, oh yeah. It's got the original receipt and then you've got the authenticity card here too. Seven series, yes. How much did I pay for this? I think I paid 
2000. I love wearing it like this, by the way. It's how it's got that chain on top. You know how the vintage Chanel sunnies that have that chain going across the front of the sunglasses? So hot, so like Madonna show vibes. It's like a really nice hearty caviar leather. So for those days when I want to be a little bit more discreet or even, you know, the short bum bag, high on the chest type of bag vibes. Come on, look how cute this is. It, this is really different of me because I'm branching out in color and see how things go. So I'm yet to wear any of these out. The mint is out of the question. I'm not going to keep this one. If I sell it, then it's great. If not, then I'll just hold on to it. My favorite out of these four, the top one would have to be the lilac. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below as well. Let me know which one was your favorite and why. They're all mini flaps. Which mini flap was your favorite from today's reveal? So yeah, I do love mini flaps. They're so cute. Yeah, I think that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!